Hey guys, Michael M. Jeff here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new 2010 Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter. Um, so this set number, it is 8093, it has about 175 pieces, and it is ages 7 through 12. Alright, so you get, for the minifigures to start, you get Plo Koon. He's really nice. Um, he's basically the same thing as you would see in the gunship. Except in the gunship, he didn't have a chrome lightsaber hilt, but in this one does. Um, yeah. So, basically, average Plo Koon. Um, so, and then you get this astromech droid. His name is R7D4. See that? He's actually brown, if you're thinking he's dark red, he's not, he's brown. Um, he's got lots of detail, he's basically just an average Clone Wars astromech, only brown, basically. Um, yeah, he looks really nice, got ni nice detailing on the back, really cool. Um, so that's that, and now on to the Starfighter. Starfighter's really cool, it's probably my favorite Starfighter that LEGO has made. Now, I'm probably not going to take this Starfighter apart, as I did with Anakin's Jedi Starfighter and Ahsoka's, because those were incredibly boring. Um, but this one, the blue, just tops it off. So, yeah. Now, if you want to put your astromech, you simply turn his head, and you put him right in here. Just like so. Alright. Now, for Plo Koon, there is actually a place where you can put his lightsaber. His lightsaber, right here, goes right onto this little hook. You can see that, it just clips right on there. But I mean, in the real Clone Wars, you're not going to see Plo Koon running around with his lightsaber on. On his Starfighter. So, yeah. And to get him in, you take off the cockpit piece. And inside there, you can see there's some nice control panels and detailing in there. It looks really nice. So, then you just take Plo Koon. And guys, actually, I really hope next year they make um, a Kid Fisto Starfighter. That'll be really cool. So you simply, you put Plo Koon right in there, just like that. And if, sorry if you hear any background noise. Um, so then, you take the cockpit, and you just put it right back on. And there he is, he's, in, he's inside. So yeah, I'm not sure if these are blasters or not. Um, I think they are. Yeah, they should be. Yeah, they are. And um, there's some nice vents on the sides there now with these angled pieces you can see Lego they tried to shape out this I guess you could say white striping that Plo Koon Starfighter has so that's really nice and there are stickers here here unfortunately these are not stickers here 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 and here but they're pretty easy to get on um so if you flip it under here you can see you got some landing gear that you can simply fold in just like so and then he's landed so if you want you fold them back in just like that and you see this little ball under here actually if you push that watch this Plo Koon goes flying out of his starfighter basically in ejecting so that's cool. Um, that's probably the best feature I've seen in all three of these Starfighters. Um, and right here, you can see there's two engines, just like in every other Starfighter. So yeah. Basically, it's got the same design as the other Starfighters, but the mechanism has changed. There's some extra details, like different design. Like, there's different plates and other stuff added onto it that wasn't in the other Starfighters. So this is a really nice ship, and... Actually, a lot of playability. You know, you could just have Plo Koon fly off, Cad Bane comes, and then Turbo Tank runs over, runs him over. No, but yeah. Um. So really, that's it for this set. Um. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.